Hello, I'm Lisa Honig Buxbaum, CEO and founder of Soaring Words. Welcome to the Metropolitan Museum of Art and a very special Soaring Words, Soaring Museums tour experience. The Met is one of the largest tourist destinations in New York City, with over five million visitors each year. Today we're traveling back to ancient Egypt to explore the reign of Hatshepsut, one of the most interesting pharaohs of all times. Hatshepsut ruled Egypt for two decades during the 18th dynasty. After the museum tour experience, I hope you'll visit Soaring Words website at soaringwords.org and create your own special artwork to donate to hospitalized children all around the world. My name's Deborah, and I'm going to take you today to the objects in the museum. So, where do you think you're standing right now at the Met? Which gallery can we give a name to this? The Egyptian. We're in the Egyptian gallery, that's right. Who knows anything about ancient Egypt? Yes, sir. That there used to be a pharaoh, that used to um, be uh, like a king. Yes, they had pharaohs for their kings. How many of you heard, have heard of Hatshepsut? Very good, she was a female pharaoh. Excellent. What else do you know about Egypt? They communicated by their writing that they made, or signs. Signs? What's another word we could use for the, the things that we look at when we look at hieroglyphs? They wrote in symbols or pictures. We're in a very interesting gallery. Take just a minute and look around at the sculpture that's very near to us. But spend a little time and look from the top to the bottom and think about what you're seeing. You can look at the faces or the posture. You can look at what's being held. We're looking at pharaohs. How did you know that? Because they had the little Oh, they have that headdress on. It's called the Nemes headdress, and it is the headdress of a pharaoh, so very good. Look up at this face. How about the cheekbones? Would you say the cheekbones are kind of high on this face? This one looks like Hatshepsut. Where did you figure that out? Because um, in my school, we oh. were doing um, social studies, and our teacher, he showed, he showed us her. Excellent, Aaron. He's exactly right. Does anybody remember the face of Hatshepsut from your school books? Yes. Does anyone recognize this also as Hatshepsut? Raise your hand if you agree with Aaron. Wonderful. So this is indeed Hatshepsut, and so are all the other statues in here. How many women do you think got to be pharaohs in Egypt? Only a few, but she was a very special pharaoh. She was very powerful. Remember, she was supposed to be the pharaoh, or she thought she was supposed to be the pharaoh. And when her husband died, her young stepson, who was just an infant, was supposed to become the pharaoh. But he was too young to rule. Could any of you feel like you could rule the country of Egypt? It'd be kind of hard at your age, right? So she agreed to be the co-ruler. They shared the throne together. But who do you think did most of the work and the thinking about how to run a country and how to serve the people? Hatshepsut did most of the work. And they ruled together for almost 15 years. And about seven years into the ruling, where she was sharing the throne with her, her stepson, she decided that she really should be the pharaoh. And she came up with a story that she was actually descended from Ray, Amun Ray. So does that make her divine if she's descended from Amun Ray? Someone who's divine has wonderful abilities that's granted by the gods. Okay. So she declared herself divine and went ahead to rule then as a king instead of as the queen. Now, do you think the Egyptians were used to seeing a female pharaoh? No. When you look up here, is she represented as a female? She's wearing a beard, right? Okay, so that's one way we know she might not be a, a, a female pharaoh. She's representing herself as a male. There's some description in the side of her chair. Very good. There's some inscription. That's a great word you use. Some inscription on the side. What's the name for that inscription? Anyone remember? Yes? Hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs. That's 
right. Well, the writing on this statue actually calls her by her female personality. It says that she's the lady of the two lands. Do you remember the two lands in Egypt? Remember Egypt's long? What's the land up here? Upper Egypt and And if she's the lady of two lands, did she unify all of Egypt so everyone could work together? Yes. Do you see how she's got her feet coming out right in front? Right under her feet, if you think of bow and arrows, you imagine the bow shape laid out right in front of her feet. There's nine bows right under her feet. And her feet are on top of the bows. Why would she have her feet on top of the bows? Yes. She doesn't want any wars. She doesn't want any wars, so she's collected the bows of all the nine traditional enemies of ancient Egypt, and each one of those bows is carved into the stone underneath her feet. So it's a symbol. Underneath her feet are the bows of her enemies, so she can have a peaceful country. I'm passing out paper and boards, and we're going to do some sketching, and I have some beautiful colored pencils for you in just a minute. These drawings are extra special because they're going to the children in the hospitals who can't get out and come to the museums. This is me as a pharaoh in front of a pyramid, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I do myself as a pharaoh as I'm wild dancing as people carry me. What I drew was a pharaoh in the desert with relaxing in the ocean and looking at the pyramids and I hope you like it. I drew myself as a, pha a comical pharaoh that I, keep, I see in, in movies of Egypt and I try to copy the, them and some of the statues that are around me here. Now that we've finished the Hatshepsut tour, let's head over to the hospital and share the artwork with some very special kids. My name is Sarah Moore. And we went to a museum today and we drew hieroglyphics. And the museum was called Metropolitan Museum of Art. And we drew like pictures of Egyptian pharaohs. And we're gonna give it to you. This one is a woman that she's sitting down and there's like nine arrows here. And he's bound down to her. This is the pyramids. That's my name in hieroglyphics. This is a girly pharaoh, and those are my names. I have Griffith. Cool. Oh. What is it? Awesome. 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 Yeah. Um, mines, this one right here. Mm. It's about the king of Egypt, and he's waiting like for some of his soldiers to come and protect them. That one right there uh -huh. is, um, yeah, he's like the pharaoh king, and his name is Michael. This was sounds love and hieroglyphics, sending you lots of love. Thanks for joining us at the special Soaring Words Soaring Museum's tour experience. I hope you had a lot of fun. Now I invite you to visit our website at soaringwords.org and check out all of the fun activities and art projects that you can enjoy to inspire a hospitalized child to never give up. Soaring Words is the power to heal.